Wrap me in a bolt of lightning Send me on my way still smiling Maybe that's the way I should go Straight into the mouth of the unknown I left the spare key on the table I never really thought I'd be able to Say I merely visit on the weekends I lost my whole life and a dear friend I've said it so many times Straight from Mississippi, Brett Favre. 20 seasons in the National Football League. Hey, let's go every drive. We got to think that way. We really got to think that way. He flipped it into the end zone backhand. Brett Favre is something else. Three-time MVP and 11-time Pro Bowler, and he retired as the owner of every major career passing record. He is now a member of the NFL 100 all-time team. Good to see you, Brett Favre. Thanks for having me. No, of course. Well, thanks for being here. Appreciate that. When did you guys first meet? Do, do you remember that? I think we actually yeah. talked. It was on a, a preseason. I think it was preseason game in Green Bay. I think. But he. Would you uh, remember, Tom? Yep. Am I, am I right? It was 05, yep. 06. 2006, we played in the preseason. And, but we uh, played you one other time before that, but you killed us in 2002 in a rain game. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> one out of 15 they weren't, they weren't having a great year, and, and it's a quick story, but sure. they showed their inactive list, and I think every corner on their roster was inactive, so they signed a bunch of guys on the street, so I was so excited, and Brett came in, and I just remember him running around, unbuckling his chin strap and throwing touchdown passes. Favre is just right on the money. Favre play action, bump fakes once, throws the left side of the end zone, leaping attempt made, touchdown! touchdown! Back line of the end zone, Bubba Franks, wow! Well, uh, Brett, I mean, what does it mean for you? Obviously, you thought you probably were done with all the accolades that you could ever have in your career or life about being named one of the 100 members of this yeah, team. Yeah, you know, I'm extremely honored. When I was a little kid, um, I wanted to play pro football. I wanted to be Roger Stallback. I loved Roger. Um, that's who I looked up to. He's my favorite player, and he's still my, my guy. And to be able to do exactly what I wanted to do and do it for so long and to have accomplished so much at one time, maybe not so much now, have all the passing records. I mean, are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. And I think for me, you know, I, when I was a kid, we only got two channels, you know, so you, you, you didn't have NFL films, you didn't have NFL Network, you didn't have, I couldn't watch everybody. So if Dallas was not a regional, I had to watch the Saints. And I loved Archie Manning, but they were horrible. Uh, but he was the bright spot. My deal was Roger Stallback and Archie Manning. I never thought about Pro Bowls, never thought about MVPs. I envisioned what it would be like to run out on the field for a Super Bowl and how cool that would be. And so I got to live that. Everything that has come after has been like, are you kidding me? It wasn't like I'm waiting for, well, when are they gonna retire my number? Just playing and, and being able to to be Roger Stallback or to be Archie Manning um, is enough. And, and, and I mean that with all honesty. I really do believe you're the one player out of all that I've played against or met that if all of a sudden nobody got paid to play football, you still would have played. I would have. You would have played. I would have. And, and, and some of the things that you did on the field are still a little mind-boggling. I mean, good and bad. Good and bad. I'll give you that. <laughs> but throwing with your feet off the ground more often than not. Mm -hmm. Can you possibly explain to me, Tom? I'm sure every fundamental coach you ever had yeah. is like, this. This won't work. You can't play quarterback like that. How did that happen? You know, I, honestly, uh, by accident. My dad was my coach, and he was old school. Rather than do seven on seven, we did Oklahoma drill. You know, if I were to ever say, Dad, you know, maybe we should look at throwing. He'd say, I'm coaching the team. You do what I tell you, and so be it. We never worked on fundamentals. As a high school senior, I could throw it 75 yards, but, you know, when, when teams would come in, colleges and the recruiting coach would come in, he would say, uh, Coach Farr, I, I want to see your son throw. And he goes, well, you better come and watch pregame. And, and, I'm, and I'm being honest, because we ran the wishbone and, and the wing tee. And so I, I guess what I'm getting at is we never worked on fundamentals and footwork. I, you know, I didn't know what reading, you know, flat defender on a curl drag, a high-low, 
Uh, you know, I, that stuff, when I got to college, I'll never forget when I became a starter as a, as a freshman. We ran the I formation, we ran the option, tall sweep, and we'll, we would sprint out. We, there was never any, all right, we're going to read the weak side defender. Or this. But I said, if they blitz, what do I do? And my coach very seriously looked at me and said, you make something happen. <laughs> and I went, I like that. <laughs> and that's kind, of the way, that's kind of the way I played. Farrell came off the bench and led the Golden Eagles in a comeback victory in his varsity debut. Yeah, I didn't know how good I was. I didn't know how bad I was. I just knew that I was going to do all I could. And at times, maybe it, it looked bad, but I was, I was going to come right back. I was resilient. Mm -hmm. and, and I think, you know, it, it's just, just kind of how I played. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. I, I got to tell you, you're going to hate me for bringing this up. The playoff game, you threw six interceptions, probably made the biggest impression on me of any game I had ever seen you play. Far play action, unloads, near side, and Neas Williams has got it. Here's Far back. Has it picked off. Far has the ball deflected and intercepted. And bad just got worse for the Green Bay Packers. I'm sorry. I'm, I no, really no. am. I'm sorry. But you, it didn't matter that you, you would have thrown 15 interceptions. Most people, they get a certain number. It's like, okay, we're going to check it down. Let's, let's get out of this game, whatever. You always thought you were going to win the game, didn't you? I, I did. You know, and it's funny because that game, after the fourth one, I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Belichick loves it. I, I go to the sidelines, and Mike Sherman says, I think I'm just going to take you out. And I said, uh, if I throw two more, I'll break a record. <laughs> Did you really say that to yeah. you? What do you say back? Go on. Go ahead. Not that I wanted to break the sure. record, but hell, coming this far. Let's win. You, you still thought thrown, you were going to win. I could have thrown check downs and check downs and check downs, and there's probably times in my career I probably should have. I, I, I Super, Bowl against, uh, Super Bowl against New England would have been nice if you threw yeah. a couple check downs <laughs> instead of those. I was coaching those the kitchen. Downs. Tell us about prepping for yeah. Brett. Uh, well, first of all, there's not many, not many people in the NFL that can say they passed on Brett twice. Twice in the 91 draft I passed on you. So how bad is that? But you know what, Bill? It worked out okay. Yeah, right. Well, a decade later. Yeah, decade. yeah, but you know. See, I knew I could get Tom around 199. <laughs> <laughs> it's cagey. Exactly. It's cagey. Uh, well, just what you said, Chris. His, Brett was impossible to prepare for because you didn't know what he was going to do. I mean, post, check down, scramble, extend plays. Uh, everybody was alive. Everybody was at the point of attack. And every receiver was the primary receiver. And yeah. Yeah. it could happen sooner in the play or later in the play. Uh, he was, he was really tough to prepare for, but he, he killed us in Super Bowl. It was a good game. I, I tell you that the, the the play that is talked about the most is a kickoff return. Well, not not not, <laughs> <in my laughs> not for a quarterback. <laughs> the first play of the game. Yeah. You know, okay. Bill obviously is the ultimate schemer, and you know you you really have to prepare hard. That being said. In 96, I was probably the furthest thing from a schemer and strategist, yeah. and I just kind of was like, hey, whatever. Now, are you all right? Yeah. No more rocket well, balls, please. Well, I was chinged up. No, I know. We had worked very minimally on all-out blitz checks. That's not his MO. He wants his guys to know exactly what to do first. Don't outsmart yourselves. That's kind of the way I look at, at Bill and how he coaches. We're going to know what to do. Yeah. And then we'll we'll figure out if we're going to you know disguise and do all this stuff later. But I, you're going to know what to do. So you're not going to outsmart them. So the, I walk up to the line. We hadn't worked on a on a zero blitz, potentially an all out more than you can block type of. No free safety in the middle. No of the free field safety. And all, that. and all week long, sitting in the hotel and you you watch the r replays. And Super Bowl 24 about to get underway. And they keep showing Joe Montana checking to 59 Razor. Black 59 Razor! Black 59 Razor! 49 South! <laughs> and I thought to myself, man, you know how cool it would be in New Orleans if I, I'm, I, I'm being 100% honest, how cool it would be if I could check to Razor and hit a touchdown in this game? 
But I quickly was like, well, they don't blitz. Lo and behold, I said, this kind of looks like maybe something's coming. I'm like, nah. But I had, you know, you don't have all day to make this decision. And so I, I checked to it. Second down and nine. Brett Favre appears to be changing plays at the line of scrimmage. He's got time. He's throwing it downfield. He's That's got him. Wide open. It is going to be a touchdown to Andre Risen. You know, I'm running around with my helmet off, and some people may say, well, look, he's trying to, you know, it's all about me. What I was excited about was, can you believe that this actually worked? <laughs> and Ryzen got the check. Yeah. And Ryzen got the check, who <laughs> had been here three weeks. <laughs> and, and that's the story of yeah. why Bill Belichick's boat is called Eight Rings and not Nine Rings. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs>